Okay, today I would like to talk to you how to use your polar scope. When I first installed this and had it all got all nice and adjusted properly, I then quickly realized that there was no instructions on how to use the polar scope. Went online, found nothing online to help me. So after a while I figured out how to to use it. So I wanted to make this video today to demonstrate how to use it for those who who are out there who do not know how to use it. Okay? So this is what we do here. Um, as you're looking through the polar scope itself, and this is what you're going to see, and this is, let's say, the night sky, and the Big Dipper's up high in the sky, what you want to do is you want to move the polar scope, adjust it to, like, say, to the right. You want to come up like this, and then you want to rotate the right ascension like so. And what you want, you want it to do is is you want to have the, let's say these two stars here, be parallel with these two. So imagine the line between the two stars, and you can see the line here. You want to make sure that they are parallel. And what helps me when I do this is I will adjust the image, just like the Big Dipper right here. I will get as close as I can to what I see in the night sky. And I will look through the polar scope with my left eye, and my right eye will look at the actual night sky. And the closer I get these, the easier it is to actually, to line both of these stars, these two here and these two here, to get them parallel as possible. The closer they are to being parallel, the more accurate. And so once you have this accomplished, you, what you want to do now is tighten down the right ascension locking knob on your mount when that's tightened down, now you want to do is place the North Star, which is here. You want to place the North Star inside the center of this small circle. So I'll put my pencil right over the North Star, okay? Now what you want to do is adjust the, the, the mount and move the scope over until the North Star is right in the middle of this small circle. And once you have that, now you want to go ahead and tighten down the other locking knobs. And when that's all said and done, you're good to go. So hopefully this helps you out. And um, that's it. So good luck.